All right, back again. Today we got out the Atari Jaguar, and we have our insert here, and figured we could put in this game here, Iron Soldier. So, pop that in, play some of that. What's interesting with some of these um, Atari Jaguar games is that uh, the games come with an overlay, which is kind of cool. Um, the overlay is for the uh, buttons on the control pad, and you can just slide it in there, and um, some of them, you know, they'll show you the different features or, um, you know, which, um, which button does which. You know, obviously, you don't need it. Um, you could guess at which button does which, or if you have the uh, instruction manual, you can see but uh, it makes things a little bit easier. Uh, this one here, Iron Soldier, it's another kind of, uh, you know, virtual reality, um, I don't know, Gundam looking game here. But um, we'll start this thing up, give it a shot. Have your basic uh, start, you can pick up where you left off and different options that you can go in and change for the game, but we'll just kind of jump into it. Uh, when you first start off in the game, you can only choose from four different stages here. Um, you have the first one, you have the care package, this one's London Bridge, and then Midnight Raid. So, you know, just for fun here, we'll go to the bust. And now, it'll tell you what you have to do in the stage at the beginning of each stage, and it'll show which, uh, what are the most prominent enemies in the stage. Uh, this one here is going to be a lot of tanks, so... What's interesting about this game is, um, you know, here you only have one weapon right now. I only have the assault rifle. But uh, throughout the other stages, as soon as you clear them out, you can get more and more weapons. Now, on the control pad here, on the keypad, what you can do is you can assign those uh, different weapons as mounts to different parts of the body. So you can assign a mount to uh, shoulder mounts, you can assign them to the hands, both hands, uh, to the sides here, to the legs, which is uh, kind of interesting, kind of like a Transformers kind of thing. But uh, first one here, and I'll say select mount, we'll just mount it on the uh, right side here. Now your left side is going to be something that's called the uh, manipulator. Um, it's basically just your fist, and um, unfortunately for this game, you have a limited amount of ammunition. So sometimes you have to switch back and forth, which can be a little bit uh, complicated, considering you have to press on the uh, control pad here. Uh, you have to press the right button. Um, in order to go forward, if you want to go forward, you got to press up and hold C, and uh, you'll go forward. If you notice in the bottom corner here, um, and then press the opposite way to stop, you'll see that I have my gun equipped. Press over to the manipulator, and then just punch. And then you can wind up uh, destroying buildings. But you do have a limited amount of ammo, so you really gotta watch how you use it. Um, in this case, we're just trying to get across town, so I mean, we can just kinda keep walking don't have to destroy everything but inside these buildings uh, there tends to be a lot of hidden items um, like power-ups repair objects things like that uh, in the middle of the screen you can see the uh, hit points um, for your character probably the most difficult part is switching out in between um, you know between your manipulator and your gun uh, if you run out of ammo this is all you have so Um, getting used to the controls at first can be quite tricky. Um, you know, kind of like I suppose driving a um, you know heavy machinery and something that just has two joysticks. It's kind of how you're controlling this one. You know, forward and up, you're going forward constantly, and then um, or forward and uh, C button, you're going up, and then back in the C button, you're going backwards. So. Like I said, probably the most difficult part is just switching in and out. There we 
go. There, you got some repair parts. Um, it's an interesting game. The sound on it, pretty good. I mean, I'm really down with the sound, and, you know, the game in general is not too bad. It's kind of like a, a really, it feels like a really early kind of beta version of Mech Assault, in a way. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a halfway decent game. He turns quite slow, unfortunately. The game really doesn't have a time limit, you know, it, it allows you to to go through it and, um, you know, whatever time, whatever amount of time it takes you to do it, as long as your, uh, your mech here doesn't die, then you're okay. The thing about the manipulator is, like, you really have to be right up next to uh, the building in order to do some damage. Um, if you're not, he really doesn't do anything, you know, he's just swinging his arm in front. Yeah, if you're into the sim kind of games, then um, this might be one that you would be interested in. Um, as long as you could pick it up for a pretty cheap price, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, it wouldn't be too bad of a game. But um, getting, like I said, getting used to the controls um, may take some time. We're starting to get a little bit low on time here, but just want to show you what uh, Iron Soldier looked like for the Atari Jaguar. And uh, like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.